Okay guys, so a really, really quick uh, update um, today. A big update, obviously, but a, a really, really quick one. Um, I have to go down and watch TV. <laughs> um, but that's the, I'm laughing, but that's the truth. Um, so got the the engine essentially out, right? All good and good and thing. Forgot a load of stuff, of course. Uh, so I forgot the matrix pipe, the heater matrix pipe. Um, that one. So the, the the whole engine was pulling sideways. Um, I probably should have taken. I thought at first that even though I had taken this bolt out, that that was the reason why it was snagging on me. And maybe it possibly was um, part of it. So then I started taking, I got the other bracket off and I started taking these ones off. And then I said, you know what? Put my arm down through this gap and the body here was not a good idea. So I just abandoned it and gave it another tug and it came out. Um, uh, it came up rather. Uh, the idler or this uh, um, leveler, was is fantastic because it was able to let I was able to without ever having do, done this before. I'm saying it's fantastic. I've never done it before. Maybe maybe it was shite, um, but it just meant I was able to really adjust pitch and everything very well on it. Uh, mounted through one through the cast aluminium, which was a bit scary, and then one goes through the eye, which is also aluminium, uh, but less scary for some reason. Um, now what? I have forgotten is not the not the changer there, but see this wire here. I forgot that wire. Um, I'm half tempted just to put a snips on it and cut it. Maybe somebody might tell me if that wire can. Do you know what I mean? If it, if it's a cable, probably shouldn't cut it because it'll uh, unless I can just get a new one and bolt it up here. Um, or if it's an electrical wire, I can just you know. Uh, crimp in or solder in new connections, so I would just cut it in that situation. Um, everything else seems to be going all right. Uh, took the fan off, and that really annoyed me because I was being kind of stupid. I put my my impact on that like I did on the naturally aspirated OM66. But I was holding this piece here, and this this was turning back here. I should have been holding the entire piece, so I ended up uh, kind of a little bit ringing that. Um, but before I did that, I tried taking off the actual blades and I got one of the bolts out, the other two snapped here and here. Um, I'm hoping that would be easy enough. Oh, another thing. This bracket just here, or make sure you remove it. I was pulling away for ages, it was hooked behind this. Because I'm on my own, so I don't have a second set of eyes. Um, but this fucker was just hooked behind that and stretching um, so you know I, well, well I, I would say I was pulling around for ages I wasn't pulling for ages but when you're on your own you're sort of trying to see everything and pull and it's a little bit physically demanding not too bad um, but uh, still it's a little bit physically demanding first time using the, the uh, engine hoist and everything I'm really happy so my my question is to you guys: Do I just cut that cable, uh, or what exactly is it? What part of the gearbox linkaging is it? Um, yeah, I'm really chuffed. From the point that I arrived up here, I had a prop shaft to remove, the alternator and the fan, and I'm about forty five minutes into it, so. I know that seems, maybe for some of you guys that do it the whole time, that's still a lot of time, but I'm pretty impressed, you know. If I had nothing to do and came up here and got to this point, I would have been pretty chuffed. Uh, so yeah, anyway, thanks thanks guys for watching. Any advice you can give me on that part would be brilliant. Um, yeah, can't believe I got the engine mostly out. First time. Thanks for watching. Bye.